every once in a while. You get to take a nice break from working on other vehicles because somebody stops by with something really sweet. This is our friend Nick. How you doing? And yeah, man, and look at this. Look what he rode over in. And I see a brand new soul tag on this. You just got this baby today? Picked it up yesterday in Clarkson, Washington. I've had my name on a waiting list for about two months now and just finally came in. So I'm stoked to take it for a ride. <laughs> That's fantastic. And this, of course, is a Honda Navi. Now, we have our other videos on the Honda Monkey and Grand, which are pretty sweet little bikes. This is really kind of a different category, though, right, Nick? I mean, like, what yeah, would you... So this is a, it's a 110cc versus a 50cc, but it's kind of the same setup as a, as a Honda Ruckus. Which um, is the 50cc, which right? Which is a 50, yeah. yeah. So, you know, the engine and... The transmission and all that it's a it's a cvt so it's it's a oh, shift shift list um, yeah so and uh, yeah because we were looking at this and i thought that was the engine nope. but have a look at this it's not that's, the engine at all that's where you put your groceries <laughs> it's a sweet little grocery compartment look at this you can fit yourself all the way in there that's actually a really handy little storage thing on a bike this size yeah so what else we got here this is this is just fuel so this is your it's on right now, off fuel, uh, reserve. Okay, it does have a reserve. Yep. I really like bikes with reserves a lot, not because I've had to use it a lot. That's that's just. And it's uh, you know one one advantage I guess you'd say over a scooter is it's it is actually a two up, so you can technically ride two people on it. Um, we'll see if that happens or not. But. <laughs> and this we're thinking this is about a 50 mile an hour I'm machine. Hoping, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then we got a cap here that covers up your gas tank. So no one can steal your gas, because you know that's a little bit expensive right now or mess with it. That's I like that. Oh man, this is a sweet little ride. So is that drum brakes on the front there? So it's drum brakes all around. Drum this all around. This is actually just a parking brake. So that's kind of why the lever is way out there. So you pull that back, lock it. Oh. Um, slick. But then the so the brake system is you just pull this one lever and you can see it's got two cables. So it actually actuates, so well, this brake lever actuates um, just the front brake. But then if you hit the pedal over here on the, on the side. Oh, there we go. You can come back over here and that actually actuates the back and the front. Oh, interesting. So that front lever isn't both. Like a lot of right. bikes, it's just, that's just the front and the bottom grabs both. Well, that's kind of nice because if you just lock up that back brake, you can you get a little fishtailing, which isn't very much fun. And we got a single rear shock. It's offset, which I find very interesting, but you can kind of see why. And then uh, I can't wait to hear this. This is probably going to sound pretty good. Looks like a little fan here. Yeah, let's start her up. Hey, you can't even hear it. Listen to this. <laughs> Yeah, quiet down. And the other the other thing about this bike is it is not fuel injected. It's this a, is not fuel injected. It's, it's a carburetor, car. so it's got a, a manual choke. Okay, okay. Uh, which so I kind of like. I'm, I guess, kind of old school. I like to work on them. So yeah, you work on a lot I of bikes. Mind, uh, I don't mind tinkering with it if he needs it, but hopefully it won't. He got all kinds of cool bikes over there he runs through. It, that's why it's nice when we work across the street, because he comes over here bringing this sweet stuff. Oh, yeah, and then two cables in the back, too. That's interesting. I guess that makes sense. So two kickstands, okay, right, one to kick it up all the way and park it, and one to lean it sideways if we want. Yep. Oh, that is sweet, man. What What am I seeing here? Is this a Kickstarter? Yeah, it's got a Kickstarter, too. <laughs> I really like that. I love it. My uh, Honda, or it's uh, not a Honda. Wow, let me start that all over because it's a Polaris. I'm just Honda on the brain right now. My Polaris four-wheeler is the last year that they had a pull start as well as electric. I really, really, really like having that as a backup. So, but they they stopped doing them on the Polaris's. But that's pretty cool that they added this on there. And then what's this? Looks like there's another key over here. I wonder what that is. Sounds like some kind of locker. Oh, okay. oh, what up? It takes look a seat. What, look what we found. It takes a seat up. <laughs> look so, at that. Oh, more storage. Here's your toolkit. Toolkit. Battery. I'm assuming. Looks like a battery. Looks like battery. A little bit of a storage. Yep, yep. And you can put more tools or your insurance or whatever down there. Because that's groceries. This is like insurance and paperwork. Yep. That's cool. One thing, one thing I do not see on it is a helmet holder, which... Mm. You know, yes, some where is a helmet holder? Some, some don't. Well, might have to look. Well, that's just a quick look. We're going to... We'll listen to it as he drives off, because you got to hear that. But he said we could take it for a ride. After he's had a little while, you know what I mean? We can't uh, 
be hogging those first few hours riding, but it's very shiny right now. That was a good question. Nick was just saying this comes in red, got the green. Do you know what other colors? It comes in, like uh, yellow, it comes in the red, the green. It comes in a darker green, tan, brown, uh, and I think maybe a black also. Really? Nice color choices. I'm a big fan of green. Everybody around here is. There's a green car. There's a green car. Green, you know? Okay, let's hear this bad boy. Let's see when you drive away. So you haven't even been down the street yet. Oh, that was yeah. easy. Yeah, that starts like nothing. Oh. I love it. The 2022 Honda Navi. <laughs> That's fantastic. What a neat little tree. If you want to check out the difference between the Honda Monkey and the Honda Gron, we got a really good comparable video, comparison video on that one too. And now we got this companion video to go along with it. I love it. That was pretty sweet. He's long gone. All right. Hey, it's Uncle Jake Motors Missive. Check out some other stuff. If you like Hondas, give us a thumbs up. We think they're pretty awesome. I'm in the dark for some reason. I'll take you out to fist bump of friendship. Whoop we'll Almost forgot to check the stance on these, how you're sitting when you're leaning forward back. So Nick's going to volunteer. I'm about 5'10". He's our male model today. That's a pretty nice, sure. upright, comfortable stance. Just had it out for about two miles and it's very comfortable to ride. And I got it up to 45 fairly easily. I think it might do 50, but uh, uh, not very comfortably probably. <laughs> that's, so that's pushing it. So I 45. Think, you know, 40, 45 is about it. And, but it gets up to 35 real quick. A lot well, faster than a ruckus. Well, and you know what? That's really what this bike's for. It's not yeah. like we're grabbing this bike to take it out on the freeway. Right? This is going zipping around town nice and easy. I think it would certainly do that. How did it feel? Because it doesn't have gears. It's more. It's not. It's not really a constant speed, but kind of. Yeah. Right? So it's. Uh, it's. It's. It's like riding a scooter. I mean, it's. It's. It's not. You don't feel any shifting. It's mm. real smooth. Uh, but it's. It doesn't. It doesn't throw you back. I mean, it's. It's not a powerhouse. So. <laughs> Nor but, is it meant to be, right? But really, it, it rides real nice and uh, a lot. It's, it's more stable than. Like say, a good balance a on there. Yeah, oh just, right. Now that's a good point because scooters can start to feel pretty unstable if you yeah, get going. Just, and that's a good point too. On this one, you not only have a little bit more capable bike, but you're riding it like a bike. Your feet aren't dropped down on a platform like that guy in there, which I'll show just real quick. So that, this is what we're talking about. So here you sit with your feet draped over like you're, like you're in a chair. This is like you're riding a bike, so awesome. So first ride, pretty good, huh? I love it, yeah. Can't wait to <laughs> wait for my wife to get home and we're gonna go for a ride and put some more miles on it. That's awesome, that's what it's all about. Okay, there we go, now we got the last piece. I'm back. I know I keep saying I'm done, but Nick said I could drive around the block. And check this out, just real quick. Look at this. Look at this. He got these other sweet bikes right here, man. Isn't that cool? Pretty neat. Okay, let's do a ride around the block. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, feels very. Hold on. I'm gonna talk about this. The seat is definitely nice and firm. I like that, and it feels really like a solid little bike. It's not squishy, if you know what I mean. You get on, you feel like, yeah. Yep, that's, I could ride this. Okay, so what do we do here, Nick? I didn't even see the procedure. So, key on, and then you just gotta hold in the front brake and push start. <laughs> okay, and I'm immediately going for the clutch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird having this lever here because you see it, but you, yeah. you can't reach it and you can't use it when you're riding, so it's just a parking brake, like I said, but use that one, and then the, the foot one does, it actually is both front end. Front and rear brake, so that's so this is front brake, and then I'm just I just go. Just go, yep, it shifts itself. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, let me tell you what it feels like so far. Really smooth. I'm just one hand in this. I just hopped on it, and it feels very comfortable. I feel like I could ride this. This is a really easy to just hop on and go bike. This little thing's fun. That's a small hill, but enough to test it a little bit, right? Turning is a piece of cake. It doesn't feel sharp or like it wants to cut in on you or anything like that. Man, this is a sweet little gig. Very easy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this this thing is a, a pleasure. It's just fun to hop on and ride. Right, let's bring her on home. 
Where do you want it? This thing's so cool. Okay, so there's, I keep wanting to do stuff, but I don't have to take it and put it in neutral. I just had to kill it, right? And yep. so engine stop, and then kickstand down. Oh my gosh. Nick, that is a fun bike. Is fun? Oh, it is. It's like one of those bikes you get on and you just, you just enjoy it. You just have fun riding it around the block. Yeah, there's nothing really to learn. Like you just hop on this and it just feels comfortable and enjoyable. <sighs> I mean, sometimes you get on bikes and they're like, you got to ride them. They will get you in trouble. Not this one. Man, I love it. For anybody that wanted to step up from a scooter to uh, an actual motorcycle-ish, <laughs> that's a good, a, a good step up. <laughs> that, that's actually an excellent point. I, I would absolutely agree. This is a nice step up from a scooter if you want to go to bike. Even easier. I mean, the Monkey and Grand are easy, but they're not this easy. They're just, they're not. Especially the Grand. It's a little bit more i wouldn't say aggressive but but a little bit sportier feel this is just smooth and fun and look at that guy it's super awesome okay now nick thank you so much we Anytime. really appreciate sure, that yeah. that was super cool isn't he a great guy we just keep coming up with cool little points on this one nick was saying something that i think is worth pointing out if you're on a little scooter if you've ridden one before sometimes you get like traffic behind you backed up or your stoplight like nick was saying you try to go it's a little slow this one totally you can get out of the way traffic again you're not going to be going any high speeds but that's not why you'd buy this bike you buy this bike to go around town like nick was like what'd you say 40 45 that's 40 45 comfortably yeah yeah no problem that'll get you just about everywhere that's another nice little point this is a sweet bike i really like it i'm never gonna leave i keep looking at this thing so we looked at the storage earlier but i was just thinking th this sort of does two functions it not only gives you a really cool place for storage but it really fills out the look of the bike doesn't it doesn't it make it look more full rather than if that wasn't there and you just had this really open area it would look a little less solid i think that was a nice touch plus you can like, you put your lunch in there how cool is that a little dipstick. Uh, nope. Won't even fit a half helmet. Oh, no helmet in there. Okay, so it's still not for helmet. We got to find a place for helmets. Yeah. You can lock the steering wheel. So locking steering wheel is pretty cool. You'd think that they would have put something on here for a helmet because we got storage is well thought out. We got this locks, the, the gas cap it was sort of locks. You can lock the steering wheel. There's got to be a place on here. I mean, I there might not be. We sure didn't look. That. We'll have to get back to you on that one. That might be the one thing that they didn't do, but they did so much else. Look at a couple of little details. I always feel like you can tell a lot about how a bike was made by and thoughtfulness by the little detail. So we've got some carbon fiber touch here. It's not carbon fiber, but it has a look across here. You got it up and I, I like that little name badge right there. That's pretty cool. And that's actually, ooh, that's like I got a rubber texture kit. Then we've got another highlight here of carbon fiber look and another one here. And then even one them back on the exhaust, and I'm sure I'm missing some. I think that's cool too. Some texture across here. That's kind of nice. I mean, right? Those are just all little details. Yeah, that's pretty well covered on the bottom side there. As I said, we're, I'm never going to be down here because the, the, I think one of the most impressive parts about this bike is the price. I mean, you might pay a little bit more out the door, but 1,800 bucks. 1800 MSRP. MSRP. You know, of course, there's some the tax and freight and uh, setup fee, but if you get to the right dealer, they uh, they charge you reasonable. I mean, I've, I've had uh, a couple dealers quote me quite high freight and setup, and uh -huh. obviously didn't go with them, but the one I went with was was very reasonable. So that's crazy. What else are you going to get that's a bike like this for that price? I don't know of any. Not not in quality like this. I mean, you might be able to find some from China, maybe, uh, and then you you don't know what you're gonna get this is this is great look what i just found so like it's like a little drape here that just covers up the carbon there that's pretty nice it sure makes it easy to access and you just flop that back down there you can just keep finding stuff on this bike more carbon fiber let's check the blinkers out this is in bright sunlight oh plenty no problem whatsoever oh yeah very bright okay that's cool. And then I think I got to start it for the light. Oh yeah. Let's check out the light. Oh, kill switch. <laughs> I did that. Oh, you know what? He did tell me if the kickstand is down. Oh really? It will not start. Whoa, that well, because it's going to be in gear. How about that? Learn another thing too. Yeah. I mean, if you can see that, in the middle of the day that's oh that's pretty bright even in the middle of the day it's bright full sun 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice night riding. <laughs> There's the horn, we almost forgot to try the horn. Very loud. Very loud. So we're gonna do the real outro now. If you wanna check out the videos on the comparables between the monkey and the Grand, that'll give you a really good idea of what this one looks like compared to those. But my gosh, I'm gonna absolutely agree with Nick. This is a perfect step up from a scooter. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay, on behalf of Motors and Mischief's Uncle Jake, that's our friend Nick over there. He's a pretty sweet dude. We'll catch you next time. It's a fish bump of French bump on the way out. Whoop out.